Hi everyone and welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am going to be making a beach soap and it's going to be scented with Aqua Spa which is a Wholesale Supplies Plus fragrance. I used it last summer and I did blue and yellow and it turned out really really pretty and then the next day well, after it started curing, it started to discolor just a little bit. It wasn't bad or anything, but enough that I could tell. And so I'm going to do, it's a really great fragrance, so, so I'm going to do um, this dark blue color. This is Twilight from Mad Oils. And I have silver, what is this called? Silver Fin Blue from Mad Oils. And then white. My um, base color is going to be the darker blue, and then I'm just going to have a little bit of white in the lighter blue um, swirled into the dark blue. And I'm doing it in my um, the slab mold. And I have this cup in here. I'm going to try to pour over the top of it. I didn't know if it would because it's got like an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's got six sides, not eight. But I thought maybe it would look cool if I poured it that way. I, didn't, I couldn't find anything square, so I just grabbed that glass. And I have all of these uh, little embeds that I made. Now these are just little plastic fish. I think I got them, I got them a long time ago from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I was going to, I think, I think it's Wholesale Supplies Plus, but I um, made some of the clear melt and pour with just these fish in it, so it kind of looks like they're in an, um, a fish bowl, and I sold them at my one show last year, and then I never made them again, I kind of forgot about them, but um, I was like, oh, I wish I had a fish mold, and then I remembered I had these, so I thought these would be cute. I'll stick these on the top, on the soap too. And I have blue, purple, orange, and green. And then I have this mold. It's actually a fondant mold I got at AC Moore, and you can see it's got coral and. There's the sand dollar that I did on one of the other soaps, and it's just got a couple different kinds of shells, starfish, and um, I didn't do all of those, but I did do the coral, and I broke it up a little bit into smaller pieces, and this is all going to go like on the top of the soap instead of like making a log, um, a loaf mold, and then putting them on the top. I thought you could see them better, and then I'm going to put just a few shells and stuff around and I've got the green coral and then I've got um, this it's a brazen hussy mixed with a little bit of pink to make this corally color and then I'm going to put one of the little fish on each one so that's my plan with this soap and I don't think there's any vanillin in this fragrance I just think that it discolors I don't know why it discolors, but I even looked it up and it said it didn't have any vanilla in it, so I'm not really sure what the deal is, but, um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. these off. Let's see, I think I'm a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. I mixed up enough white for this soap and I'm going to do another beach soap after this. I make several um, beach soaps because I'm sure you've heard my other videos. I live at the beach and people like to take stuff like that home with them or take it back for, you know, like a souvenir or gift or whatever they do with it. Okay, 
I just want to make sure I got all that blue because I don't, I think I'm, I'm not going to put the fragrance in, whoa, I'm not going to put the fragrance in the white because I don't want that to discolor. I'll put it in the blues. So I just want to make sure I get as much of it as I can. relatively thin. For this type of pour. I really wanted it a little bit darker than that, but I think that'll be fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. But I'm really excited because my husband and I went grocery shopping last weekend and I had been telling them, I want to make these freezer meals, you know, make them ahead where we just spend a couple hours in the kitchen. And <clears throat> he loves to cut vegetables and all that. So I was like, oh, he's home. And so let's go grocery shopping. I picked out 10 different recipes, wrote everything down that we needed, went to the store. I said, we are not getting anything we do not need because we are famous for like, oh, let's get this, let's get this. And we spent not even $80 and ended up making 12 meals because um, two of them made enough to split into two and you just put them in Ziploc bags and then pull them out. Two of them were casserole, so I bought the, um, you know, the tins that you can put them in and so they'd be better in the freezer. So we made, you know, we got tons of fresh fruits and vegetables, and don't rice. This looks like, this is ricing. Oh crap, I hate ricing, it's so gross. So he started cutting up the vegetables, I started putting together all of the stuff in the bags and the, you know, making everything, and we had so much fun doing it, and we had... 12 meals. I already know that one's going to rice too, so I might as well just not even stir it. And it's been so great. And I'm telling you, because a lot of times we live like literally. <laughs> live literally um, a minute from the grocery store. We won't when we move. We'll, we'll be, it'll be a little bit longer to get to a grocery store, but we're famous for just, oh, we'll run and grab this for dinner and we run to the store and get something. And um, so we did all these meals and it has been awesome. Two of the meals were two roasts so that was you know the meat of course was the most expensive part but there's like chicken and pork chops and uh, pasta and two two different um, roasts so this is already I'm trying to thicken up a little and I don't want it to I don't remember this ricing before all right, whatever. I'm trying to use up some of my fragrances that I have before we move so that I don't have to, I have less to move. Okay, let me move this up so you guys can see better. So it has been just awesome because I wait, I get up, I put it in the crock pot. And we have dinner. 
So if you've ever thought about doing that, it's great because, um, I don't know, like when I buy fresh fruits, we, we bought a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables and we were able to use them all, you know, like, because all these have fruits and vegetables in them and fresh garlic and that, that one blue is really thick. It looks kind of cool. Except for this one. This one's going to be blah, blah. Blah, blah. So we still don't have a date to move. We're still waiting. For the people that we're getting the house from, they have to have a closing date on their home. So it just pushes everyone back. cleaned up my dishes real quick and I'm going to go ahead and place these. I'm just going to kind of, I'm sure they'll each be different. I broke the coral up in different size pieces just so they weren't so big. So I do three bars across and I do four bars down. So it's just using this to kind of measure the bottom. So it's gonna go about right there. I'll just kind of place these real quick. That's a big one. That's a honker. So we've got two, I need to come down with this a little bit. And then here.
next day to cut this soap that I'm calling Ocean Life. And I don't think there's going to be much of a swirl in there, but... They turned out cute. I like the the silver fin blue that you can see in the I, I meant to set you in there. Sorry, my husband's on the phone for work. Uh, so it'll go like this, basically. I think they're cute. I think kids will like them. Like this. I'm in the process of trying to figure out some different packaging for these soaps that I'm making that have the design on the top like this instead of, you know, up here. Um, I'm thinking maybe a box, but I want something that will still show the design or whatever. So if you guys have any ideas for that, um, I've been looking online and I haven't really found one that's the size that I need. So if you have any ideas for it, leave me a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. And um, I'll cut the rest off camera because they're all pretty much going to be the same. Thanks so much for watching.